Sometimes we see an office bearer holding a strong opinion against a decision after that decision has already been made by the collective. So for example, in an AMLA meeting, what is Uzur's guidance in this situation? You see, we, in this present day world, we believe in democracy, right? Once a decision is made by a majority of the AMLA people, that we should try to follow it, right? Obey it. And even it is taken in the Shura, any decision taken in Shura is a recommendation given to Khalifatul Masih. And all your recommendations come to me here. After my approval, then they are sent back for the respective Jamaat or the concerned authorities for implementation. Right? So it means if they are holding strong opinion against the CN of the Shura, that means they are refusing to accept the the decision taken by Khalifa al Masih. If they refuse to accept the decision taken by Khalifa al Masih, what is the use of their being an Amati? Right? One side they say, we shall obey all your advices and, and the orders, whatever you give us. Maru Fesla, sometimes people say it is not Maru Fesla. And Maruf means, Fesla, Maruf decision means, any decision which is according to the Holy Quran, which is according to the Islamic teachings, because which is according to the Sunnah. Even the Maruf decision term is used in the Holy Quran. So the Khalifa al Masih well has once said that uh, did these people made the list of the Maruf and non Marufs of the Holy Prophet? Which, are, which of his decisions were in, um, maruf according to the commandment of Allah and which of them were not, if th they cannot say. So we are actually misconstruing the term maruf, right? Maruf means the thing which are according to the whole Quran, commandments of the Holy Quran, and the Holy Prophet and the Prophet Messiah in this age. And I don't think any of the Khalifa has ever said anything which is not going according to these things. So those people who do not uh, uh, follow the decision or speak against the decision and hold strong opinion against the decision of the shura, actually denying to accept or refusing to accept the decision taken by Khalifa al Masih. One side they say they are anamadi, they have done bath, and bath means ba is, 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 uh, is derived from the word ba, and that means to sell yourself. On one side you say you have sold yourself and now it is the owner, it is the right of the owner to use you whichever way you, he likes. The thing he has bought is the right of the owner whichever way he likes to use. So one side you say you have done bad, other side you have strong opinion against that. How can these two th things to go together? Right? So those who are, who are actually holding any strong opinion against the scene of Shura, they are in reality refusing to accept the decision taken by Khalifa al Masih. Because all the decisions taken by Shura are approved by Khalifa al Masih. Okay? Ji, Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum.